Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here. Hi, my name is Sydney. I film cruelty free beauty videos. And today's video is one that I feel nervous and excited to do. So today's video is going to be all about the makeup that I've bought from TJ Maxx and how old it really is. So Kelly Gooch recently did a similar video on her channel. I will link it down below for anyone that hasn't seen it. But basically she went into TJ Maxx and Marshall. I don't know if she went into TJ Maxx and Marshalls, uh, but they're like the same store anyways. But she checked the batch codes on some of the makeup items that were being sold and looked them up and shared in that video how long ago they were actually manufactured. I thought that was a super interesting idea for a video. Obviously with everything going on right now, I can't go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and look up those batch codes. So I thought it would be kind of fun to dig through the makeup that I've bought from TJ Maxx and Marshalls in the past and see how old it actually was compared to when I bought it and see when it was manufactured compared to when I bought it from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So that's what we're gonna do today. Without further ado, let's hop into it. So Kelly did leave two really great websites in the description box of her video um, where you can check the batch codes on your makeup. And so those are the websites that I used. I found the first one to be the most helpful. Um, so I'll try to list them in the order that they were listed in her description box, but that's where I got most of this information from. So the thing is with some of these products, I'm not exactly sure when I bought them. I can give you guys like a general like, I think I bought them in late 2015 or something like that. But of course I don't have exact dates. So we're just going to kind of ballpark it and I'm going to be honest with you guys, some of these I thought were going to be so much older than they actually were. Okay, so the first two products that I want to talk about are both from e.l.f. and these are their little four pan face palettes. These were a huge favorite of mine for years and years and years. I raved about them on my channel, I raved about them on Instagram. I love these little guys um, and I believe I bought both of these at Marshalls. I know I definitely bought this bronzer palette at Marshalls um, and I'm 98% sure I bought the contour palette at Marshalls as well. So you can get a really great deal on e.l.f. products at Marshalls. I feel like usually they're not too, too old and my suspicions were actually correct when I went and checked the batch codes on these. So for the bronzer palette, I'm thinking that I bought this in either very late 2016 or early 2017 and according to the website that I used this product was manufactured in November of 2016 so really not too old at all old at all I think I got this for like half off it was like three dollars instead of six dollars at Marshall's so that one I was really pleasantly surprised by and then pretty much the same thing with the contour palette I think that I got this late 2016 early 2017 and it says that it was manufactured in August of 2016 so really not too old, old at all which I thought was a happy surprise because some of the products that Kelly was pulling were super duper old <laughs> so the next two products that I have to share with you guys are both from Anastasia Beverly Hills I feel like there was a time where there was a huge influx of Anastasia Beverly Hills products into Marshalls and TJ Maxx I know that I bought several more of them. I actually bought several more products from Marshalls and TJ Maxx over the years, but for one reason or another, either I couldn't find the batch code on them or I didn't keep the packaging or I've decluttered them from my collection. I can't share them with you guys in today's video, but I thought it would still be fun to share what I have. But one product that I bought and I am shocked that this is not older is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream and Contour Palette. I feel like these were so, so popular on YouTube and Instagram for a little while there. I bought mine at Marshalls because I was like, you know what, I really want to try cream contouring. And I'm like, well, this is kind of affordable. It, it wasn't really that affordable. I think it was like 25, 20, 20-ish dollars, somewhere around there. Um, but I thought, you know what, we'll give it a whirl. Maybe it'll be great. Maybe I'll really love cream contouring. So I purchased this one. I used it. I feel like I didn't use it a ton when I first got it. And then a couple months later, I was like using it religiously. And then I thought it was breaking me out. So I have not touched it since then. And I thought because it was breaking me out, it must be old. So I bought this product in late 2017. And according to the website that I checked, this was manufactured in July of 2015. So that's pretty old, especially for a cream product. Powder products, if it was that old, it probably wouldn't bother me too much because I feel like they're a little bit more stable. But cream products, I feel like they definitely expire a little bit faster and I feel like it's kind of gross to sell something that old. And to me, it's pretty obvious that that's why it was breaking me up because the product itself had gone bad. Okay, the next product that I want to talk about is, again, an ABH product. It is the Aurora Glow Kit. This is one of my favorite highlighter palettes that I have in my collection. I love reaching into these colorful highlighters for a little bit of a pop. I have this one right here. I think it's called Hella or Helia or something like that. I have that on my cheekbones today, today to go along with the green eyes that I'm sporting. And I bought this in late 2017. 
yeah I believe it was late 2017 and according to the website that I checked this product was manufactured in March of 2017 so this one was relatively new so I think it's so interesting that there's such a range of products and when they were manufactured at Marshalls and I wonder how they get around that legally because I feel like it's not legal to sell expired makeup I don't really know I don't know how the legality of that works but I do have one final product that I want to show to you guys I know this is a short video but like I said I did buy other products from Marshalls but either I couldn't find the batch code on them because I didn't have the carton still or the batch code is not available on the websites that I was using but this last product is one that I feel like is super important to be aware of when this product was made and if it's still good or not and that is sunscreen so this is the neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen i know it isn't cruelty free i'm working on transferring kind of my body care and all the other facets of my life to being cruelty free but this is just one that i haven't gotten around to doing um i bought this right before a trip in december and i was in a marshall's i think i was getting like dry shampoo or maybe like those little travel bottles for the trip something like that and i was like oh well, we need sunscreen so i just grabbed this one because I know that this one doesn't break me out. I've used it for years um, and it is one that I quite enjoy but I'm like oh if we can get it at Marshalls we can get it for a deal. So I went ahead and double checked this um, on the top little ridge right here. It does give an expiration date for the sunscreen and this sunscreen does not expire until 2021 technically but I feel like it's pretty common knowledge that sunscreen goes bad after a year so I wonder if that's like upon opening but I was like, well, if this is good until 2021, when was it manufactured? Because I didn't buy it in 2020. And according to the website that I use, this product was manufactured March 13th of 2019. So I guess I didn't know that sunscreen stayed stable, like on the shelf for that long. So that was really interesting as well. Again, I'm not an expert on that, so maybe do a little bit more research, but I just thought that was something interesting to note because sunscreen is something that can definitely get expensive, and I'm a deals kind of girl, so if I can get it at Marshalls for a little bit cheaper, I'm definitely going to do that, but I'm not sure about the actual stability of this product and how effective it is at this point. But that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and let me know down below. If you guys are an avid Marshalls TJ Maxx makeup shopper, I feel like I used to be so much more than I am now, but I feel like I'm also so much more of a conscious consumer these days. Before, I feel like when I was buying or looking for makeup at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I was really looking to build out my collection um, and kind of just grow it, but I feel like I have a very different mindset now. The products that I buy, I really want to spark joy in me and spark inspiration and fill a hole in my collection or add value to my collection in some way shape or form of course i'm not perfect so every product that i bought probably does not fit that category but it is what i aim to do but i feel like i've rambled on long enough thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye